Hey, what's going on, y'all? It's Tanisha here from Twisted Motherhood, and I am back with another video here for Vlogmas. Y'all, we are on a roll. Give me a like for the consistency, okay? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> And yes, we are still going through this global pandemic, guys. So make sure that you are wiping your carts down all the way around it, okay? Because we often grab it from every angle. And here we have cart number one in Aldi. Now, this was my first time shopping in Aldi. I've always been afraid of Aldi but I gave it a tr I gave it a try and overall it was pretty good it wasn't you know bad in comparison it tastes like regular food <laughs> and this is cart number two uh yeah way too much food I know <laughs> way too much And this is the last stop. All I needed was some gizzards. I couldn't find them anywhere else. I just so happened to find them here at Publix. All right, so where do I begin? These are all of the pantry items that I got. Some items were from Aldi, guys. I'm not familiar with any of these brands that are from Aldi. I, I'm used to dealing with the name brand stuff. So, um, I mean, I, I buy Kroger and stuff like that, but I'm just not familiar with some of the Aldi brands. But I wanted to kind of see, you know, like if my grocery bill would actually be cheaper by going there. Um, it, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, it seemed like average price, I guess. Um, the majority of the stuff that you guys are seeing right now, I actually got from Kroger, minus this baking soda. That's from Aldi, obviously. Uh, the Chewy is from Aldi. I did get the Bisquick from Aldi that express mac my kids have never had that before i let my baby try it he likes it but <laughs> not my type of macaroni and cheese at all so these are just a few like snacks that i have around the house some chips and pretzels and tortilla rounds um i don't eat pretzels but you know little snacks my kids run through bread like it's no tomorrow, okay? The peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. <laughs> and all I want to know is why didn't someone tell me that Aldi had um, Chateau Elan summer wine? Y'all, this wine is so good if you like sweet wines. It has a high percentage. Um, I cannot really remember what it is. Uh, there it is, a 13 and a half, I think that's it. I can't really see it while I'm editing. But um, it's really good. You do not have to drink a lot of it to catch you a little buzz. But then again, I'm not much of a drinker. But when I do, I do like a little buzz. So I get a higher percentage. And this is like the perfect blend. So try it out. And this is my produce section. I love fresh produce. Um, it's very rare that I actually get canned pro um, produce, so like, you know, canned vegetables and stuff like that. I like things super fresh when I do cook. So these are just a couple of items that I picked up and some more, well, some of the cold items. I don't know why they're here with the produce, but um, the produce came from Aldi. And uh, I want to say all of this came from Aldi, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, all of this came from Aldi. And it was all right. I had no problems with it at all. kind of been conditioned to like <laughs> feel like Aldi just has less than when it comes to produce I mean even like their commercials are kind of like take the groceries out of the Aldi packaging and put it into you know <laughs> the name brand packaging does anybody else like you know 
hesitate when they walk into Aldi or, or is it just me? Let me know down in, down in the comments, guys. I mean, because these tomatoes, y'all, these tomatoes were so bomb. Do y'all see them? They came from Aldi. Like, you get stuff like this from Costco and Sam's, guys. This came from Aldi. And it was really tasty, guys. I was pleasantly surprised. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> so here are some of my cold packaged items. Of course, I always have milk. <laughs> Um, and then we just got like, you know, some cheeses. I'm trying a couple of different cheeses in my mac and cheese this year. And I got like little pizza bites for my kids so that they can leave me alone while I'm cooking. grown to love these little pasta things from my kids they don't really do meat at all um but the spinach and ravioli i can kind of get away with a little bit because of it being ravioli um but i've never had that brand of course um the pizza bites were actually pretty good guys here you will find the meats that i purchased and i did not cook. i did not cook all of this for thanksgiving excuse me um but i did find a couple of items that were on sale and I wanted to pick them up. And that was this right here. I wanted to make a Reuben and then this salmon right here. So I grabbed those two because of course we can always have some meats in the house. This turkey was a complete waste <laughs> of money. I am not a turkey person. I am more of a side person for Thanksgiving. Hit a like if you are a side type of a person for Thanksgiving and you just don't do the meats that much. But I used the drippings from the turkey to actually make my dressing, so I went ahead and made a turkey anyways. But, I mean, I don't know. Do y'all prefer turkey or ham? Turkey, ham, what type of meats do y'all cook? It's my first Thanksgiving without my father. My dad passed away a little over a month ago and this has been a journey, okay? So that's one of the biggest reasons <laughs> for my wine while I'm doing this because I really, really honestly don't even wanna do this, but I'm trying to create a tradition for my sons and um, yeah, so here we go. I've shown you guys before I wash my greens leaf by leaf this is part of the reason why okay so if you are not washing your greens I'm not sure if you can see just how dirty this water is but guys wash your greens okay use a vegetable brush and you just kind of brush the leaves I'm trying to use hold the camera with one hand but you just kind of hold it and then you just, you know, brush the leaves in there. You can tell the difference. You see that? You see that? So, you see that? And then so, get all of this off, whatever this is. I don't know if it's pesticides or what, but get it off, okay? There's a difference. that off and you know make sure you put all of that down the drain because that's mighty cloudy it's pretty cloudy to say that most people just toss these in a pot most of the time you'll have worms and all the type of bugs like little gnats and stuff like that so guys you know wash your greens wash your greens okay <music> chopping these up and putting them in the bag so I can put them in the freezer until I'm ready to actually put them in the pot because I don't have enough room in my refrigerator and they'll do just fine in the freezer and actually cook a little bit better with a little bit of frost on them. So those are the greens. I'm going to 
stop with this bag and I have it is right at the top of my pot and you guys know that this is um, green so of course it's put out the water. It's going to cook down but I think that's going to be plenty. I'm trying not to cook a whole lot this year but as you guys can see it is 12.56 a.m. and I'm cooking. Got the potatoes on. So far so good. I'm about to whip up this potato salad. I have my sweet potatoes ready to go for the yams. We have the greens done. So, so far so good. Let's keep it moving. I know it's late, don't judge me, <laughs> but does anybody else have a tester plate while they're cooking Thanksgiving dinner? Let me know. By the way, listen. You know that sound. You know the sound. <laughs> I tried something different with my gizzards this year. I put peppers and onions, and I might be a little bit late to the party, but it made the gizzards actually taste pretty good. Does anybody else do this? Let me know down in the comments. Alrighty, so now, my friends, we are making our cornbread for our dressing. It is now. <laughs> About 6.30 in the morning. I did sit down and take a break though. So. Yeah. 6.42 in the morning and the cone, the cone bread is done. Okay. So I'm just gonna put some foil over this. And I'm done for the night. I will do the turkey and the ham and the dressing tomorrow, and that is it. Anytime you deal with raw meat, make sure you go behind yourself and disinfect. Hey everybody, it is Tanisha here from Twisted Motherhood and I just wanted to pop in and wish you guys a very happy Thanksgiving. Of course, it wouldn't be Thanksgiving if I didn't have to run out and get something at the last minute, right? But my trusted friends over at Kroger are open until 4 o'clock, so no worries. I wanted to show you guys the new hoodie. And clearly, I am not the only one. <laughs> I am not the only person that forgot items that were needed for Thanksgiving. So thank God for Kroger being open because Publix was not. <laughs> Let's go on in here and see what I can find. Hopefully I can get everything I need, right? I only need a few items. So let's get it. All right. So I'm checking on my bird. He, she, whatever is doing pretty well making sure it doesn't dry out by just pouring the juices back on top of it and covering it back up and putting it back in the oven. And now I am making this glaze to go over my ham and it looks kind of watery now, but I did add brown more brown sugar. <laughs> And 
this is something else that I'm trying different this year. I put the ham in the crock pot and uh, let it sit in there for about two hours. And this is the final turkey product, guys. I'm sorry, I do not have a picture of the plate. The food was absolutely delicious. We, we ate very early and had a very happy holiday. I hope that you guys enjoyed your holiday and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe for more videos just like this. I will be doing these videos outside of Vlogmas as well. Um, so if you're interested in things like this, make sure that you subscribe so that you do not miss those things. And I will see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Oh yeah, and please don't forget to follow me on social media. All of the information is down below in the description bar. And make sure that you let me know that you're there. Use the hashtag YouTube family. And before you guys run off, please make sure that you go to itssugarbutter.com for your special discount of 25% off. Do not forget, this discount goes through January 1st, 2021. This is my gift to all of you guys who are paying attention to my Vlogmas videos and subscribing and liking and sharing my videos. I really, really appreciate it. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.